Good evening, everyone. We have a few people still in the waiting room joining us. We'll be beginning our meeting shortly. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Tom Gooch Elementary Community Meeting. Sorry, I had to place everyone on, on mute. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Bell. I'm with Dallas ISD Bond Communications. Welcome to the Tom Gooch Elementary School Virtual Community Meeting regarding renovations to the campus. We're about to begin our meeting, so if everyone can make sure that you remain on mute throughout the meeting, that would be great. Um, you can ask questions throughout the meeting using the chat feature in Zoom. We're also being li uh, recorded live on Facebook, so if anyone's on Facebook and will care to ask a question, please do so in the comment section on Facebook. With that, we are going to turn it over to our interpreters. We're going to turn it off over to our interpreters so they can give further instructions. Buenas noches y gracias por estar aquí. Vamos a empezar a interpretar al español. Si desean escuchar esta presentación en español, pueden seleccionar la opción en español que se encuentra en la parte de abajo de la pantalla y es como un mundo. Si por algún motivo no escuchan al intérprete, regresen al inglés y vuelvan a entrar al español uh, y a, así funciona. Si no, eh, háganoslo saber por el chat. Desafortunadamente, esta presentación no es compatible con Chromebooks, no es compatible con, eh, con Chromebooks únicamente. Pueden usar un iPhone, Android, a uh, su computadora, un iPad, un tablet, eh, para poder escuchar la reunión. Gracias y que disfruten de esta presentación. I'm ready. Okay. Possible is on you. Thank you, Ms. Bill. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the community bun meeting. I'm so sorry. Uh, Ms. Bell, can you please turn on the uh, interpretation feature? It is now available, interpretation is available. Please use the button below. The feature has been activated. Principal, you can begin. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the community bond meeting for Tom Gooch Elementary, where learning is magical. We are so excited to be a part of the 2015 bond in which we will be upgraded to a new and improved Gooch. I have had the opportunity to see some of the preliminary pictures and it brings a big smile to my face to see the wonderful work that the team at Keiko Architect has put together. And I can't wait for everyone to see what I have seen. One of the reasons I am excited about the bond package is so that my great Gooch Gator kiddos can walk into a new and magical school building. I am also excited because the bun package will bring the best to our kids that deserves nothing but the very best. You will not find a group of more respectful, 
well-mannered and hard-working group of kiddos than you will at Tom Gooch. Our theme is learning is magical and what is more magical than a new school building with beautiful bright colors that supports our students' leadership development with the leader in me. My staff is working hard each day to ensure we provide a magical learning experience for our students in spite of. It excites me to see how my boys and girls are working hard every day in midst of the academic demands and instructional gaps. I truly have the best group of kiddos and I am grateful, thankful, and honored to be the principal at Tom Gooch Elementary where learning is magical. And I cannot wait for my students to step foot into the new Gooch. I have an engaged, supportive community and a great set of parents who want to also give the best to their kiddos. And this bun package will allow that to happen. Thank you. At this time, um, I would also like to introduce my fearless leader and executive director, Mr. Warren Cordoba, um, who is also on the call with us today. Good Mr. evening, everybody. Um, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, I see a lot of the faculty here, so I appreciate uh, you, the support. And then, of course, all the community members that are here present tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Wonderful. At this time, I cannot see him, but I'm assuming he's here. I would like to introduce our wonderful trustee, uh, Mr. Edwin Flores, if he would like to have a word at this time. I don't, I don't believe Trustee Flores has joined us as of yet, but when he does, I will let you know. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. Joining us today also will be the DISD Bond Department and leading the meeting and making the presentation today will be Roberto Diaz for Keiko Architect and I'll turn it over to him at this time. Hi, good evening. This is Roberto Diaz with Keiko Architecture. Uh, we're leading the AE team in the renovation expansion for the Tom Gooch Elementary. And uh, we'd like but to go through spot, was... the presentation outlining uh, the improvements that are planned for the facility. My I apologize, it looks like I got muted again. <laughs> um, as I was saying, I'm Roberto Diaz with Keiko Architecture. Uh, we're heading the AE team uh, for the design and expansion of the Tom Gooch Elementary. Uh, and we'll be walking through the presentation um, outlining uh, the improvements uh, for the facility. We could go to the next slide, please. Um, the contents, as you can see, will be, but, we'll go through the schedule rather quickly, like site plan, floor plans, house. proposed exterior, and yes. proposed and interior renovations. Okay. Next slide, please. Yeah. Uh, project schedule, if we can go to the next one. secured a right. memorable vestibule entrance for the facility uh, and expand the existing kitchen uh, to meet place? current DISD uh, standards. Next, please. Right. Uh, additionally, we are replacing all exterior windows in the original building with new energy so efficient windows, replacing or? interior finishes, including uh, the ceilings throughout the facility, upgrading finishes to the corridors, uh, new paint, freshen up the paint throughout uh -huh. the school, uh, replacing classroom and corridor lighting with new LED uh, energy efficient the fixtures, the renovation of the cafeteria, no replacement of the marker boards, vertical teaching surfaces, uh, also improvements to the sidewalks, service drive uh, in on the site, uh, as well as replacing the monument sign with a new LED uh, message board uh, to better uh, match current standards for DISD. Uh, we're also doing um, electrical and mechanical improvements uh, in the school, 
as well as updating the landscaping. Next slide, please. The schedule uh, you see here, it takes us from the beginning of the pre-design phase of the school. We're currently through the uh, completion of the construction document phase. Uh, at the end of last month, we're currently uh, under bid for the project. Uh, bids will be due uh, next week, I believe. And that bidding process will take us through the end of February. Uh, at that point, construction will start and it's is anticipated at this point that it'll last till November 15th, 2021. Yeah. And next slide, please. And next if we could hold one moment, if we could hold one moment, someone had uh, is not on mute. But it may not be cheaper. Please make sure to place themselves on mute, because um, we are hearing um, a, con a private conversation. Oh, so make sure everyone's on mute. Thank you. All right, Brito, I think that that is actually Penny. Yeah. It's yeah. I've got a background over here, so uh, I apologize. Um, looking at the site plan. Um, Part of the improvements that we're scheduled to do is provide new roofs in the yeah, areas just, that you see there, there outlined, um, as well as the new construction, which includes the new kitchen addition and the new secured um, vestibule students, for the facility. Next slide, please. I'd have to talk to an engineer on that one. That uh, going through the floor plans, if we could go to the next Should slide. We? It shouldn't be a problem because uh, outlining here so much, is essentially the entire here. facility. You can see uh, the corridor renovation work being outlined, uh, as well as the interior renovation of and all the classrooms original of the original school, uh, as well as the creation of a new secured vestibule uh, and reconfiguration of the administration suite, as well as the expansion of the existing kitchen kitchen to match uh, current DISD standards. The areas that you see highlighted in gray are at this oh, point not sweet. scheduled to be uh, renovated. Um, you know, the, the library was renovated not too long ago, as well as the 2010 edition is fairly new uh, and up to speed um, yeah. compared to the rest of the facility. If we go to the next slide. Um, Quick highlight of the new entrance vestibule. Um, if you're familiar no, with the school, we're fun. currently demolishing uh, the way you enter the school next to the auditorium and pulling that entrance closer uh, to the principals uh, in reception area uh, oh, wow. so that we can create a, a secured vestibule for the facility instead of having to walk down the hallway to get to wow. the administration office you'll be walking directly into the administration office um, where you'll be greeted by the reception. And then the principal office is being relocated um, directly next to it, uh, kind of flipping uh, positions as they exist today. We could go to the next one. Um, here you're seeing the uh, kitchen addition. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on your screen, but you see kind of a, a lighter color orange okay that's um, inside right. a kind of the, the greater addition. That's the current um, footprint of the existing kitchen. What do you think about uh, as you can see, it's growing significantly um, to meet the current standards. Uh, along with these improvements, there's a new uh, loading dock uh, on the backside and then a mechanical yard directly uh, south of the kitchen that will no. hold the uh, HVAC equipment in and uh, exhaust hoods, uh, exhaust equipment for the kitchen. If we could go to the next slide, please. How tall do you need your garage? Um, looking at the uh, proposed exterior, you can see a uh, visual of the proposed yeah. elevation for the school, uh, creating that new kind of transparent vestibule that leads directly into the administration suite. Uh, rather than having to walk down the hallway. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, different view, looking uh, at that same hallway, uh, as you can see. Uh, and then uh, this is a view looking at the cafeteria expansion uh, or 
uh, I should say, kitchen expansion over at the cafeteria. Uh, the brick that's being utilized matches the addition that was then in 2010 uh, to kind of tie both ends of the building together architecturally. And then we're providing um, substantial amounts of glazing to get uh, good natural light inside the, the facility. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this is a visual of the replacement uh, yeah. monument sign, so uh, essentially foot, with a new LED uh, message board uh, to match print the ISD standards. Uh, next slide, please. It's eight foot nine clear. Exterior inside. materials throughout. Um, again, the the uh, brick mix that you see uh, represented here matches the 2010 edition on the east side of the facility. Yes. Uh, the storefront uh, that's getting replacement for the new windows as well as the new entrance they for the facility eight, is eight, an eight. aluminum product in that uh, what is called the champagne color uh, as right. well as a representation of the metal screening that'll be on top of the roof of the kitchen. Uh, in extending through oh, the cafeteria to screen mechanical equipment above. If we could go to the next slide. Uh, interior improvements. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this is a view looking from the existing hallway out towards the new administration office. Uh, currently, all of this is uh, kind of a solid entrance with a small uh, glass uh, double doors at the end of the auditorium, which is what's the, the wall that's painted green to the right here um, is, is the existing auditorium. Uh -huh. So we're refreshing all the finishes, installing new roofs, new LED lights, and you can see how uh, the inclusion of all the glazing kind of opens up the views, as well as providing that secured vestibule and visual control of people coming into the facility. Oh yeah, that's uh, cool. If we could go to the next slide. Uh, really cool in the same area, kind of looking down the hallway huge. to the improvements there. Again, new flooring, new new uh, paint, new ceiling. Uh, we're proposing in the design a new light fixture uh, that will be a continuous ring around the facility, uh, which also houses uh, directional lights to highlight right. all the new marker boards uh, in trophy uh, case uh, that are being installed throughout the facility. Um, here you can see the, uh, proposed material boards um, with the uh, palette of VCT colors, everything kind of reminiscing back to the to the green of the gators, uh, the Gooch gators. That's, that, that's a um, challenge. Kitchen flooring uh, and and uh, you end up being uh, rubber base uh, that'll be installed there. Uh, in the cafeteria, there's currently a terrazzo floor, which we're proposing to repair. Uh, it's in really good condition, except for some cracks that it right. has on it. So we'll be repairing those and repolishing so, the floor. Looks um, like you can get a shipping, a so shipping it'll look uh, as new. Uh, and then different samples of the uh, rubber treads, transition strips, and uh, DISD and standard carpets that are being implemented throughout the facility. Uh, additionally, uh, the, oh, thank you. Uh, additionally, the new vestibule area will have a terrazzo tile uh, in, in the administration and entrance uh, with terra zinc terrazzo <laughs> strips. And then again, the storefront color that you see, that's the uh, champagne I was trying to figure out uh, if you could finish. Set we go to the next slide. And then span across between them so that you. Uh, the ceilings um, it, will be a uh, acoustical ceiling tile uh, as kind of a, a newer version of what's there. A new new grid, new ceiling. Kitchens will receive uh, the gypsum ceiling tiles uh, for washable surfaces, as well as uh, stainless steel in certain areas where required. Uh, we are additionally creating surrounds uh, in uh, the new uh, electric water coolers that are being installed throughout. And those will have uh, a tile backsplash and floor for ease of cleaning and durability. Uh, 
as well as you can see here, uh, different uh, plastic laminates that are being provided in uh, different areas of the school, as well as the accent paint and regular white paints uh, for the facility. Right. Uh, next slide, please. Can get those done off site? When they That's a quick overview um, yeah. of the improvements that are scheduled. So we'd like to open it up for a uh, question and answer. Thank you so much. And if anyone has any questions, if you're joining us on Facebook, please be sure to ask your, ask your questions in the chat feature is comments on Facebook. And if you're uh, joining us on Zoom, please ask your questions in the chat room. We're willing to um, ask your questions right now. We are getting a lot of positive comments regarding the actual um, design features and about the flow of the school. One question is what about safety during the actual pandemic? Um, will children be in the building while renovations are ongoing? Jacqueline, I would defer that question to DISD. That's a, a operations question. I don't know if there's someone that could um, answer that. I'm just a parent. I don't work for DISD, but I remember somebody mentioning that they were going to do most of the renovations in the evenings and on the weekends to, as to cut down on or to have as little interruptions as possible with the kids there. Thank you for sharing. Sure. Hi, this is Katie Lenahan from the bond office. I'm actually the design manager of the project. Uh, the parent who did uh, just speak, we do ensure um, and follow OSHA precautions regarding safety and the construction does take place after hours, not when ki kids are attending school. Okay. Also, we have another question. When will renovations begin and how long will it take to complete the project? Right now, our schedule uh, shows us uh, issuing a notice to proceed at the end, uh, towards the end of February. And it is expected that the completion date will be uh, November 15th, 2021. Are there any other, does anyone else have any other questions? Okay, we still have people joining us. We have a lot of compliments about um, it's beautiful and, we, and they absolutely love the building. Um, for those of you who joined us um, after we be uh, late, after those of you who joined us late, we're gonna restart the, from the very beginning of the presentation. So please um, take note, if you do have any questions, please submit them either as in the group chat or in the comments on our Facebook. Okay. Hi, good evening. This is Roberto Diaz for those who uh, had to join late. I'm an architect with Keiko Architecture. We're the AE team uh, in charge of the uh, renovation, uh, design for the renovation and expansion for the Tom Gooch Elementary. Uh, we'll run through the proposed improvements uh, for the facility uh, and touch on some um, scope and project schedule as well. If we could go to the next slide, please. Uh, to recap, uh, go through the schedule. Uh, part of what we're doing in the additions is creating a new memorable entrance, adding a secured vestibule uh, for the facility, as well as expanding the existing kitchen to meet uh, current DISD standards. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, for the renovation scope, um, we are replacing all the exterior windows on the original facility uh, with new energy efficient uh, storefronts, uh, replacing finishes throughout, uh, inclusive of the acoustical ceiling tiles, 
uh, new finishes in the corridors, paint throughout, uh, new flooring, uh, as well as new uh, LED lighting throughout the facility, as well as renovating the cafeteria space, replacing uh, teaching surfaces in the classrooms, uh, updating sidewalks uh, for and, and uh, curb cuts uh, to meet new uh, to meet uh, ADA standards, uh, as well as relocating the service drive to serve the kitchen addition, uh, replacing the monument sign with a new uh, LED uh, message board, uh, new roof in selected areas, as well as replacing electrical panels in some uh, mechanical equipment, uh, as well as updating the existing landscaping. You can go to the next slide. The current schedule um, here shows us starting with the design phase um, uh, earlier uh, this year, and then going through uh, the end of last month, we are currently bidding the project uh, to different contractors and uh, bid should be received uh, next week or there uh, uh, about next week um, or the week after. Uh, the bidding process will take us through uh, and approvals will take us through the end of February next year uh, when we're expecting to provide the general contractor with a notice to proceed. Uh, construction work would start then and it, right now it is anticipated that it'll uh, carry us through November 15th of 2021. If we could go to the next slide. Uh, looking at the site plan, um, you can see here almost an aerial photograph or view of the facility. The areas that you see in green are currently stated, uh, slated to receive a new roof. Um, the, the other areas have a uh, roof that was updated not too long ago. That's why they're not being done. The, the green areas are uh, an older roof that is in need of replacement. And then the areas in orange uh, that are highlighted are the areas of uh, new construction uh, over by the uh, auditorium towards the front entrance. So the facility kind of in the middle uh, of that green block is the new secured vestibule. And then off to the left, you can see the new kitchen addition highlighted, uh, as well as the new mechanical yard that's there. Uh, looks like we've been kicked out of the presentation. I think the person that was helping you with the presentation um, got out with the connectivity issues that sometimes we have. Yeah. So hopefully she'll be able to join here shortly and uh, we can continue going through it. Go back up. Yes, we're back up. Can you see the screen now? Yes, we can see the screen. Okay. If we can, uh, I suppose, go forward to the site plan. I think we were just wrapping that up. Uh, yeah, if we can go to the next slide and the next one. Uh, just one back, please. There we go. Uh, this uh, plan view uh, illustrates the entirety of the facility. Uh, the areas in green, uh, the classrooms uh, are slated um, for interior um, renovation, uh, you know, new ceilings, new lights, uh, paint throughout, uh, new flooring, as well as the corridor renovation that's highlighted in the purple color. All of that is getting new finishes and updated uh, uh, pack boards, uh, 
marker boards in the classrooms. Uh, the new construction that you can see highlighted in the orange is the kitchen addition and new secured vestibule. Uh, and then the areas that you see in gray are currently not slated for improvements at this time. Uh, some of these areas have been uh, renovated or constructed not too long ago, so they're in, in much better shape than uh, the rest of the facility or more up to current standards, I suppose, would be the, the correct term. If we could go to the next slide. This is an enlarged view of the new secured vestibule. Uh, we're demolishing the way you currently enter the facility that's kind of further up uh, the hallway next to the auditorium and bringing that back in uh, closer to where the reception area is. That way providing kind of a direct access between the vestibule and the reception. So any visitors will need to come in from the vestibule directly into the reception before they can get to the the rest of the facility. And then the principal's office will be uh, directly adjacent to that. Um, if we can go to the next slide, We're looking at the kitchen addition. Uh, if you can notice on your screen, the colors, uh, there's a lighter orange uh, that's uh, in the middle of the facility. That's the extents of the current kitchen. Uh, and you can see, uh, the amount of uh, kitchen that is being added in order to meet current standards. Uh, to the left of that, um, there's new loading dock and access ramp uh, that connects to the new drive um, uh, there. And then to the south of that, you can see a new mechanical yard that'll house all the HVAC and uh, some of the uh, uh, exhaust hood equipment uh, for the new kitchen. Go to the next slide. Uh, so this is a uh, rendering uh, view of the proposed entrance. Uh, you can notice how the vestibule is closer to the main body of the school. We're kind of framing the, the uh, entrance to the auditorium. Uh, and then we have a, um, a canopy cover over the entrance uh, to provide some shade there. And that would lead directly into the administration office. Uh, if we can go to the next one. Different view of the same entrance, um, highlighting the design uh, of, the, of the proposed uh, entryway. This is a view of the kitchen addition, uh, looking towards uh, the existing school. You can notice on the background, the new uh, vestibule entrance and the auditorium. Uh, and then the kitchen addition that, uh, the proposed bricks match the 2010 addition on the other side of the facility, kind of bookmarking uh, both ends of the, of the new construction. Uh, and then you see highlighted the, the mechanical screen uh, that's also implemented um, about the kitchen. We go to the next slide. This is a um, rendering of the new LED message board uh, monument sign. Um, for the facility and then uh, exterior material, proposed exterior materials. Uh, the two bricks that you see here are matching what is uh, on the uh, addition, the 2010 addition. The storefront uh, is a aluminum, uh, anodized aluminum, aluminum storefront uh, in the, what is called the champagne color. And you see a representation of the metal screening uh, that'll be above the cafeteria in the kitchen. Uh, these are views of the proposed interior for the facility. Looking from uh, kind of the main hallway out to the entrance, uh, to the right you see the auditorium, uh, which is getting a new refresh paint, as well as the new pattern on the VCT flooring and then the new secured vestibule uh, kind of really opening it up with the glass um, to provide views to the to the exterior, uh, as well as providing visual control for people approaching uh, the facility. If we could go to the next slide. Uh, again, kind of looking down the hallway uh, to the new proposed finishes and uh, 
you can see the uh, new ceiling. Uh, there, we're proposing a new linear light fixture that'll be a continuous uh, loop around the facility and it'll house not only general lighting, but directional lighting uh, to help highlight uh, all the new uh, tack boards and uh, trophy case that is being proposed. And again, you can see the, the VCP floor pattern uh, that's proposed to be implemented uh, throughout. Uh, if we could go to the next slide. And then looking at the uh, proposed materials, uh, you can see samples of the different uh, colored greens and uh, kind of field color for the VCT, everything keeping within the greens for, for the Gooch Gators uh, mascot color. So that's kind of where we're drawing inspiration for that, as well as looking at the kitchen flooring uh, and cafeteria. Uh, flooring, uh, carpet, uh, the ISD standard carpet for the places, uh, rooms that are scheduled to receive so, as well as a terrazzo tile that will be implemented in the uh, administration uh, office and entrance. We can go to the next. Uh, looking at the ceilings with new uh, acoustical ceiling tiles throughout. Uh, the kitchen receives a, a different type of uh, ceiling tile that's washable and as well it will have uh, portions uh, that are stainless steel where we're required. Uh, throughout the facility we are replacing the electric water coolers uh, and they're getting a new tile surround uh, for cleanability and durability. So you, those are the, the tile samples of representations that you see there in the a glossy white and the verde uh, glossy, uh, as well as the uh, accent paint and uh, field color uh, for the facility, as well as different uh, representations of the laminates that are proposed uh, for uh, new casework. And that is the extent if there's any more uh, questions. We do have one question in the chat. It says, will this include, will the renovation include new sound equipment for the auditorium? Currently there is not sound equipment scheduled for the auditorium. We are carrying uh, improvements to the auditorium uh, as an ad alternate. Um, essentially what that means if, if the budget allows, uh, the district will have the option to accept that cost to make uh, additional improvements to the auditorium. Thank you so much. And again, if you have any questions, if you're watching us on Facebook, please submit your questions in the comments section. We'll get right to them. If you're joining us here on um, Zoom, please submit your questions in the chat. Well, seeing them, I want to remind everyone that you can keep abreast of, of this project and other bond projects on the district's website at dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015. This presentation has been recorded and will be shared on the, on our, the district's YouTube channel as well as on the bond website, the district's bond website. So, Principal, if you would like to bring any remarks that you may have, any closing remarks you may have at this time? Thank you, Ms. Bell. Just want to say thank you to um, my awesome and fearless leader, Mr. Cordoba, for supporting us today. Um, thank you to my amazing AP who joined today and my amazing staff. And I tell you, I have such an awesome and amazing staff. And um, to Roberto and to um, Kathy and just to everyone that has been supporting Gooch through the bun. I've been had an opportunity to work closely with them. And anyone that knows me knows I'm a needy person and I'm a beggar and I love bright and vivid colors and all of the changes and the vision that I wanted to bring uh, Roberto and Keiko have been able to make that happen. So once again, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you to everyone for your support. And um, no kids are more deserving than my kiddos over at Gooch. Um, we are in a community but I do not serve community kids. 
And we joke uh, um, all the time at Gucci about bringing down the property value. But I tell you what, once Keiko finishes with Gucci, we are going to increase the property value over there on Calculus Street. So thank you, Keiko. Thank you so much, Mr. Cordova. If you would like to make any thank you. Again, no, thank you. I think it uh, looks beautiful. I think it is very well deserved uh, for our students, right? And long deserved, actually. We waited a while. Uh, but it goes, um, you know, the design is beautiful. I've seen the schools that have had this upgrade and look forward to seeing those improvements uh, taking place at Gooch. And uh, again, thank you, staff, for being here and, um, you know, for the support that you provide to each one of our scholars. Thank you again, parents and community members, for joining us for this presentation today. Once again, you can keep abreast of all the changes happening at Gooch and the other schools impacted by our Bond 2015 and, um, projects at dallasisd.org. Just visit our website. You can also stay um, abreast and in, 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 in tune with what's coming up in Bond 2020. So thank you for your support and for your encouragement. Um, we hope you have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.